Hey y'all! Today I wanted to talk to you about the luxury guest tables. They're a great item to add to your build and not just because they look great. You can get lots of items from them that are exclusive just to the tables, like Amon's dagger and paintings. They're made on a workbench and require 5 wine, 20 logs, 5 bread, and 5 steak to make. Like the markets, these tables are on a global timer, which means when you place them down, it could be up to 40 minutes till the first NPCs spawn. After that, it takes them 20 minutes to despawn and another 20 minutes for them to respawn. For me, I've noticed that it's pretty much every game day at midnight, but it might be different for you, I'm not entirely sure. When they spawn in, they actually spawn in on top of the tables, so keep that in mind when you're placing your tables down. You do have to be on the island for them to spawn, so keep that in mind if you're going to be farming materials and farming uh, the items from them. The NPCs become charmed when you talk to them, so there's no need to hurt them. It is an insta-capture after they give you their gifts. There's seven different ambassadors that visit you when the timer comes up. The first one we're going to talk about is the Advanced Civilization. Where you can get things like cogwheels, bolts, springs, uh, large capacity batteries, that kind of stuff. The second one is the building civilization, where it's mostly building items. Uh, you can get a mono doll or the mono ice sculpture and the chic items from them. It's pretty cool. Uh, the cooking civilization is mostly cooking ingredients and food. Nothing too spectacular from them, uh, you know, with their normal drops. The military civilization gives battle items like arrows and swords and that kind of stuff. He can also give you Amon's dagger. The primitive civilization gives things like animal meat and leather, bird feathers, bones, things that you could farm out in the in the wild. She does give a level zero villager woman, which is kind of interesting. It's the only level zero thing you can get in the game now. The mining civilization gives ores and ingots. Uh, you can actually get heated minerals, aluminum, rare metal, and heavy steel ingots from him. And the rare guy, the future civilization, gives gacha coins in the amount from 10 to 50, depending on the world level and your chances. Paintings have a chance to be given by any ambassador, and there's a 1% chance for the true paintings to drop and a 5% chance for the forgery paintings to drop. World level does not actually affect the painting drop, so even if you're on a world level of 1 or a world level of 7, it doesn't matter. The painting drops will be the same of the 1 and 5% chance. Forgery is my favorite though, because look at these guys. They're absolutely adorable with the monos and the paintings, and it, you know, these are, these are classic works of art that are actually in the game with little monos added to them, and they're just adorable. Look at them. You can have as many tables as you want on your island. Each one will actually spawn its own NPCs each time. So you can make a giant ambassador farm if you want. All right, guys, that's about it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe and have a great day.